Hello my friends, uh, from this section, we are going to make the comment, but before making the comment right away, I want to explain how that comment part is structured, so you can understand it more easily. I think this is the most important part in this YouTube project, so that's why I made this. This one is actually this part. Uh, this part is the detailed video page and then below the video we have our comment part so if you see here at the very bottom uh, there is a root command form so the reason why I said the root is this if we write something in here hello it will just go the first step but if I click this one and if I type something in here not in here and now click the submit it goes to second depth so if I type something in here it will only go to first depth that's why I said root command form and above this one there is just the comment list part so in here so this part is the comment list part so inside the comment list part if we see here it consists of two parts so one part is single comment part and the other part is reply comment part so if I explain this single comment part first so if we come back in here so single comment part is this one like this avatar image and the user username and then content like button and dislike button or just a reply button and then this command form part that belongs to this command so this part is the single command so what is this reply command so reply command is just if we write something in here that belong to this command so we get this part after writing something in here so this part we can say the reply command actually it looks the same but it comes from this command that's why we can say this one is reply command this one so first we are going to this whole part like just the template for the command list and then this root command form and then we are moving into this single command and after finishing this single command we are going to make this reply command and if we come in here and then if i write something in here hello again and now this one uh, which was reply comment but now it also has this child comment so that's why it becomes just single comment and this one becomes a reply comment so this is uh, how the comment part is structured and so I hope you can keep this uh, structure in your mind so you can much easily understand what we are doing for the for making the comment part so if we scroll up so first in this section we already explained this whole comment part system so we also need to make the comment model comment models uh, consist of this writer field and post id field and response to field this response to is in here like if I type something in here this person will become the response to so I so I am responding to this person that's why we need to have this response to field and then we also need to have this content content is a uh, this one so first we are going to make that this comment model so we go to our text editor in here and we need to scroll down and in here you can see the models 
we will make the new file named command.js in here we will bring all the code from the subscriber model and paste it and in here we need to change this one into command schema and we just delete this part and we say uh, first we need to have writer the type will be schema and types and object id and wrap will be user and post id and type will be schema and types and object id again and this left will be video instead of user and we also need to have response to field so response to type will be schema and type and object id and rep will be user as well and lastly we need the content content will be string type so we need to change this one into command schema and change this one into command and command command so we finished making command model and lastly I'll make comment component in detail page so if we come to our text editor and then detail video page in here so now you can see inside our detail video page we have video and then this list for our user information or video information like in here video and user information and video information below that we have the comment part so below this one we need to have this comment part so that's why i want to make the comment components in here but we don't have this comment component yet so we are going to just import it sections and comment but we don't have this file yet so we need to make this comments so we go inside this sections so in here we make the file name comment js and rfce for react functional component and then we just type comment for the comment component so and then we just save it so we are done with making this comment component so thank you for watching this video today we just think about the comment system more to understand it better because this part is kind of complicated but by knowing how it structures i hope we can understand it better see you in our next section bye